Thank you, ma'am. All right. Most of the sailors working on the docks here drink at the sodden cormorants, including the man who owns the warehouse at the end of the dock, which is weird because beetle-eyed Bartholomew is a brewer himself. I heard the tavern owner was looking for him. Something about money? I guess he's the one that sprained his ankle. New rules in town! I can finally sell non bootleg fish! Although, if you're into fish that have been on a boat, we can do that too. The possibilities are endless. Oh, that have been in a boot. My bad. Okay, let's see here. Nope, take me to... Alright, so... Looks like if we go down to the Forest of Tides, we'll be able to get there. No, we're gonna wanna go... Yeah, we wanna go out this way. What was that? I just heard a very odd noise. And I'm not sure if it was in game or what. It was very odd. Okay. Oh! That was probably the sound of the potion wearing off. Okay. That makes sense. to do that. Kind of fish. Okay, we've already fallen into the well. We don't need to fall in again. Okay, so this way. This way. Okay, so south, Tidal Tunnel, east, Zephyr Bay, northwest, Goat's Head. Huh. So I didn't think there was a way we could go. Ow, I walked into the Oh, there was technically a way we could go, but we can't lift these things yet. We still don't know how to go about that. Okay, so where does this go? Okay, so now we are...
more bombs. Not pre-exploded bombs. Unexploded bombs. That was not what I wanted. Very specifically, that was not what I wanted. I think I was very clear about what I actually wanted. Oh, here we go. Ballast Harbor. We were so close before. Ballast Harbor is a pirate market. Pirates from all across the North Sea come here to peddle their ill-gotten gains. It's the right place if you're looking for some strange items, choice information, or rare trading cards. I'm here for the third category. <laughs> Yay! Need to do some shopping, love. Ooh, nice. The thing we wasted. I don't know if we necessarily wasted that one, though. Uh, I will actually gladly take five loaves of bread. You receive five loaves of barak bread. Made from acorns, it's traditionally wrapped in leaves to keep it fresh. Eat it to recover five hearts. And we got five loaves. Did not mean to roll. You've really got to stay on top of sweeping up gunpowder. Learn that the hard way. Ooh. Doesn't sound pleasant. Are we gonna fall in the water? No, okay. Ooh. Ah, okay. I thought we might fall in the water there. Blacksmith. You look like you enjoy hurting things more efficiently. With some coral ore and 50 crowns, I can improve a sword or bow. I don't think I've got any coral, actually. Yeah, no. I'm just the muscle of this operation. If you want some weapon work, talk to my partner. He's also the muscle, but he's slacking off. So I'm gonna say he has to do the customer service stuff. <laughs> that seems fair. Ooh, I see somebody lurking over there. Well, hidey ho! Fancy meeting you here, Tilia. You joining the pirate council? <laughs> just kidding. I don't get pri pirate vibes from you. Anyway, want to ride somewhere? Yay, it's registered now. We're actually good. I just wanted to get it registered. Okay, I guess we'll go in here and then explore more later. I don't see any postings. Keep this on the down low, but my crew was just wiped out by the pirate council. See, they're trying to amass a giant force of pirates because they need help going after some old treasure of some sort. We didn't want to join, so they sank our ship. Makes me wonder, though, why would they need so many pirates to go after some treasure? It's that dangerous? Have you been to Honest Beard's Emporium? The deals there are great, but between you and me, I don't think he's as honest as he says he is. That would be fair. Ballast Harbor is a pirate market, and I was supposed... And I suppose that makes it immoral in one way or another to be shopping here. But on the other hand, if I don't buy such cheap goods, then they'll have then they'll have been stolen for no reason at all. Which is really worse than you think when you think about it, right? Yeah, okay. You get a nice cross-section of unsavory swords here. It can really make you appreciate how decent your friends are, even if they're dishonest builds wizards. Oh, but yeah, this is also an inn. This is an inn also. The rooms aren't much, but they'll bring your health back up if you're hurt. Would you like to sleep here and recover all your health for 30 crowns? I'm only missing one heart. I'm good. Thank you, though. Hey, you seen the mate? He's a geologist type. Doesn't know how much to drink. We was just celebrating getting back from Goathead Isle and he wandered off. Well, maybe he went to bed. Good for him, the rocky lad. You know what I just heard? They say there's a crew of art thieves in this town. They're supposed to have a hidden hideout. Well, I suppose all hideouts are hidden. I mean, that's fair. Tipsy pirate. I can't... What is going on here? 
This key is useless. It must be shaped like a different key or something. That's no good. How will I sleep? Where can I sleep without a bed? Yay! You found a key. It looks like it unlocks a door at an inn, but I guess not this one. Ah, is this the key to the inn at, um, Goat's Head? My I wonder if that's it. He's sleeping where he's standing. He seems to have fallen asleep standing up. Yeah, I gathered as much. Why didn't he just go there? Because plot. Alright. Well, let's go up here. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot of people up here. To talk to him. There we go. The Pirate Council's vault is on the outskirts of town. Crews that have joined have been stashing treasure in there, so it's guarded pretty heavily. But I bet if I had maybe nine, ten other people, I could pull off the heist of the century. I really wouldn't be talking about that out in the open. Just, just saying. Come back up here so I can talk to you. Woman! Lady! Lady! Yay! Since this is a pirate market, you can find things here you can't buy anywhere else. I'm a chef in Oakhaven. I'm here looking for some illicit vegetables. Trying to ward off scurvy? I've got apples right here. Here, right from the mayor's personal orchard in Oakhaven. Don't ask how we got them. It was a difficult process. So you've probably heard you can't trust snake oil salesmen. And I'll grant you that. But have you tried fish oil? Imported from the exotic Zephyr Empire, it can cure anything. Yeah, okay. Hey, I've got all the best spices here. You want cardamom? I've got cardamom. Need clothes? Have them. Looking for term, term, turmeric? Looking at how to pronounce it. I'll give you turmeric. I have the spices. Okay, you know, oh. Well, somebody's dressed up snazzy. Salesman. Hey there, looking to sell some of those delightful items you've collected? Um, I don't remember what I used in the potions that I had made. 40 crowns for the white mandrake. I was gonna say, and the flowers? No, it slipped down. Okay, so 15 for the regular mandrake, 40 for the white mandrake, which we can easily cheese. As we discovered unwittingly. 35 for the ghost orchards, king's King's crown blooms and witch hazel flowers. I think it was the witch hazel flowers and the monster bits that we wound up using a lot of. Ah, we're actually good right now. Oops, I shattered some pots. Well, hello. Ah, sorry, lass. I was lost in thought and didn't see you there. You happen to see a big galleon coming into port? <laughs> Illicit vegetables like Brussels sprouts? Ah, uh, maybe. The delay seems a lot worse than it was before. I'll really have to dig into Twitch after this and figure out how to change that. I know I saw the setting once. The galleon coming into port, carrying a bunch of loot. They're gonna be moving to the Pirate Council's vault. That big stone building, that is. It's the Council's. I didn't see anything like that. I don't know much about the Pirate Council, but I don't think they're up to any good anyways. Oh, so it was you mistyping 12 times. Okay, well that makes me feel a little bit better. Ha! <laughs> the Pirate 
council is a bunch of pirate captains. Blackbeard is trying to get them all together so they won't be fighting each other. But, well, between you and me, Blackbeard might be trying to get too much power. He's got the council's crews all looking for some magic treasure or something. I don't... don't honestly know if he's up to much of anything good myself anymore, either. So, you sound like you're involved in that or something. That's not just an unrelated person's thoughts on pirate politics, is it? <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, lost going and lost in thought I am. Anyway, I gotta get going. Lots of ships coming in today. Oh, that felt good. Okay. Ah, oh, I think he was the sea chartman that we needed to talk to. Hey, are you gonna sell me some armor? I see armor. Honest beard. Oh. Hmm. Hey, I'm Captain Honest Beard. Everything I sell here has been obtained through 100% legitimate means. Nothing shady goes on here at all. Take a look around and see if there's anything you'd like. I want some armor. That's some pretty good armor. I think it'll raise your defense by two, which will help, but it's no good guarantee that nobody will kill you and sell your armor. Just 150 crowns. Okay, we might go sell some stuff now. Hey, it actually did increase our defense by two. I honestly thought it was only going to increase our defense by one. Spike, what he said. Those are some books about black magic. They, uh, totally work. I turned someone into a newt. 200 crowns. I'm not a big fan of newts, actually. No thanks. Those are tools for a master armor. Imagine in the... Imagine in the right hand, someone would use them to make some mighty fine armor. 250 crowns. Will you be taking them for 250 crowns? Not today. That's a hot pot of shallot soup. It turns your breath so bad nobody will talk to you. Great for introverts. I was about to say, where do I get it? <laughs> 30 crowns. I've actually found talking to people helpful for what I'm trying to do, so no thanks. That's a chunk of coral ore. A blacksmith could turn that into an upgrade for your sword or bow. I'll sell it for 120 crowns. You interested? Not now. That's a pair of magic shoes that you can never, that can never be untied. You never trip on the laces. Just 50 crowns. You'll still talk to me? <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> if you can't untie them, how do you get them on? Uh, um, uh, don't know. Those are some books about black magic. They, uh, totally work. I turned someone into a dude. 200 crowns. Okay. That's a repeat. That's a candela. Candelabra. Candle holder. Do you have any candles? Nope. Probably gonna pass on this one then. That's some weird statue I found. Seen a few of them around. Think they depict some deity from the Zephyr Empire. Peeps me out. Oh, so the shoes are supposed to be slip-ons? Yeah. But if they lace up, that means they're gonna be tighter at the entry. So unless they've been worn in, <laughs> they're not that easy to slip on then. Me too, actually. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Can I do any... Oh! We can interact with the weapons. Oh, those weapons aren't actually for sale. Just use them in case ruffians run up on me to shoplift. You use all three of these weapons in that situation? All three. Oh, come on. I want the... Just cut them. By Lumiere. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. For glory and adventure, we say. Seven seas, an angel.
ancient quest for treasure. 